My interest in solar energy started when I was a kid. I told my mom at a pretty young age that I wanted to find some way to change the world and I always had this kind of engineering mindset. I like to problem solve. And so I stumbled upon this energy crisis in the world, you know, where everyone kind of needs electricity. Um, so I started looking at nuclear fusion as an option, but that wasn't quite my interest. Um, and so then I stumbled upon solar energy, and it was kind of this beautiful solution to a pretty bad problem. Coming into WashU, I pretty much knew that I wanted to pursue solar, and so I kind of had to craft my uh, pursuit around that. Um, talking to advisors, figuring out which degree to land on, started with mechanical, uh, explored chemical, and eventually landed on electrical engineering. Um, and it being WashU, it pretty much had to start with research. So I started in a wet lab with Dr. Banerjee, working on solar cell architecture, uh, and then moved to computational methods um, in Dr. Lowe's lab for a summer. And after getting a good feel on solar cells and how they really function, um, I dived into kind of a personal project on uh, residential uh, solar concentrating cells, um, just kind of a proof of concept idea. And then after that, being really comfortable with it, uh, I really got to get my hands dirty working in the Office of Sustainability uh, as a renewable energy associate, um, looking at what it really takes to kind of put solar panels up on a roof. So fall of my senior year, I was charged with making a remote rabbit shutdown system for my senior design project, which is essentially you flip a switch on the ground and it turns the solar panels off on the roof. Uh, the reason for this is uh, new safety regulations in the National Electric Code. Um, and so towards the end of that project, my boss, Mark at Azimuth, uh, charged me to see if we could actually put it in the field. So we have a project up in Chicago that needs this kind of switching. Um, so he asked me to bolster the design and see about prototyping and installing four of them this coming summer. 